Yami Tsukihiro is easily the best Yami in all of entertainment. Yes, scoot aside Yami Yuki. To be honest, it's really not even close. I mean, Yami from Black Clover, Yami Tsukihiro, he easily stomps Yami Yugi, but... What if I told you that Yami's death it is right around the corner? Because in case you guys have been living underneath the rock and don't know, this time I don't blame you because the chapter just came out and I just read it to myself. Yami has just been captured by Zedon. Yes, Yami has just been captured by Zedon. And man, oh man, things are looking very spooky. Because we see right after Dante was defeated, we thought things were going to be all good. But no, no, no. We see that Zedon, he comes in here clutch and he takes Yami. But... We see that he also does have warrior vengeance with him. So this is why things are getting very spooky. Because if you guys have been living with the rock and don't know, come in, lean up a little bit closer. Yami and William together, they open up the gate to the afterworld. Yes, we do know that Yami and William together, if you put them together, if you bring them to the Spade Kingdom, they end up opening the portal that reveals more devils. Yes, we do know this is why the Spade Kingdom did want Yami this whole time because we obviously do know that he is one of the biggest keys to unleashing all the devils in the Clover world. And we saw that Zenon, he was able to take on all of the members of the Black Bull. So hey, can Light Mage get a little bit pat on back? Because I made, listen, only real Light Mage supporters would know. I've been saying that Zenon, listen, even though Dante was declared as the Demon King, I've been saying that Zenon, he might just be the most important member of the Dark Triad because he's been kept hidden. He's been beating all these top tier characters. Hell, he even defeated Yuno. So... I do think that this is a clear indication that Zenon, he might be the most important member of the Dark Triad out of those three. And listen, if that's the case, you won't hear me complaining. But no, in all seriousness, Yami sacrificed himself to save Asta and the Black Bulls to a point where we only see his sword is left behind. Yes, Yami has clearly been taken away. And I honestly don't think that they're going to kill off Yami instantly, but... I do think there's a high chance that Yami will die because obviously they have to use him to open up the gate to the other world. So what if they actually end up killing him off after they end up using Yami and William Bondage's power? Comment what you guys see down below. Subscribe if you haven't. Peace out.